You've seen us use drone video like this shot over downtown Pittsburgh. KDK's videographers are getting their FAA license to fly drones so we can get these beautiful shots and also get video where it's difficult to get on foot. Well, now a new summer program is helping girls from five local high schools get the same FAA license to fly drones. It's an effort to get more women in the field. I checked it out for today's Kidsburg story. Instead of footballs, it's drones going through the goalposts at South Fayette High School. And the targets get even smaller. Using what looks like a video game controller, these girls guide the drone through small rings and land it on a pad. Nice! Woo! Good job! I've always been really like interested in like STEM and stuff, and I thought this would be cool opportunity. I did it because I like aviation, and I thought it would be fun. 20 girls from McKeesport, Ambridge, Beaver, Baldwin, Whitehall, and South Fayette High Schools are in this eight-session summer program called FLAG, which stands for Fly Like a Girl. School leaders want the teenage girls to feel empowered. Well, I think the guys uh, in, in my uh, experience in education for 22 years, boys tend to take over when you have anything that's electric, anything that's sporty, anything that's competitive, like they're going to take um, the first crack at it. Women make up only 8% of the aviation industry workforce and less than 3% of commercial pilots are black or brown. By offering this summer program specifically to girls, including some in districts with more minority students, they hope to improve those numbers. They hope some will be inspired to pursue careers in aviation, starting with jobs as drone pilots, a job that's expected to grow more than 50 percent over the next five years. So instead of working at an ice cream shop uh, over the summer or perhaps being a lifeguard, they can actually fly drones, they can work for a real estate agent, they can work for roofing companies. Um, really, uh, it's limitless what they can use for their summer jobs. At the end of the program, the girls will take the FAA test to get a license to fly drones. In addition, the grant will pay the $175 test fee for each child, and the instructors will take them there so there is no barrier to them getting their license. We want to prepare them for whatever future they want, and to have a skill that is so marketable and crosses all sectors really positions them to think about their future and think about how they can use it. These girls are learning that getting a drone license takes more than just piloting skills, they learn a lot in the classroom too. Different aerospace, different weather things, when we can use the drone, when we can't use the drone, how the drone works, all the different types of drones there are. Gracie Gonzalez wants to use her drone license to possibly become an EMT and rescue people using heat sensors on drones to find people in an avalanche. Specifically ones on ski slopes. I'm a huge skier. I've been skiing ever since I was two and I would love to help on the ski slopes and that usually going to bigger resorts like in France or something. The sky is the limit for these drones and these girls. Now this program is possible because of a moonshot grant from Remake Learning which allowed them to purchase the four drones. They're about $3,000 each. They hope to offer the program for more students in the future. And for more on this and many more STEM programs for young people, go to kidsburg.org. We have a link for you at kdka.com slash kidsburg.